Since you are here, you probably know what is an object. As you know, the key value pair in JavaScript object is called property. So let's start from this point. Props. Simply, the idea of props depends on passing these properties as HTML attributes, which consist of attribute name and attribute value. So as you can see, the benefit of props is passing data from parent component to child component. Now let's move to Vue.js and answer this question, how we can pass these properties? Actually, we have two ways to do that. The first one is static, just write attribute name, then attribute value. But let's note that even though age and status value are static, we need to bind them to tell view this data type is a number. And the same thing with boolean, array, and object. Now, the second way is dynamic. In this case, you can find any value from our data by using vbind directive or just shorthand colon. Let's move to the child component. And the question here is how do we receive these props inside child component? Well, just you need to define props list as an array of string or props list as an object. Now let's look at 3D space. You will notice each prop name in the array in our example has a corresponding attribute name. That means the connection between parent component and child component is ready. To this point, all our props have been entered into our component, which means we can easily use them like our data in the template section or JavaScript section. Finally, if you want to know how to pass data from child to parent component with emit function, make sure to check out this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content. See you next time.